All right, in this video, we are going to um, restring a pearl necklace. And these are saltwater pearls. And you can also uh, restring uh, freshwater pearls and other jewelry like this. Uh, but in this case, what I wanted to show you was that uh, when a pearl necklace breaks, uh, the pearls don't go flying all over the place like they do on television. That's for dramatic effect. Uh, between each pearl is a knot uh, such that uh, prevents the pearls from sliding off. And as you can see, uh, we did not lose a single pearl in this case. So before you even begin, uh, you want to make sure your clasp is acceptable, that it's a good high quality, uh, that you don't want to replace it, that you do want to actually reuse the clasp that you have, and that it is in uh, good condition. Otherwise, you may have to go to uh, some place and purchase a new one, uh, some place like Hobby Lobby. Michaels or whatnot, uh, or even a jewelry store, and uh, get a good high quality clasp uh, before restringing your uh, pearl necklaces, especially if they're genuine pearl. And if they're not genuine pearl, uh, you, you probably want to restring them uh, in this method. Uh, just to prevent them from flying all over the place <laughs> should it ever break again. And you want to use uh, silk thread. Uh, this is a number two which is uh, 0.45 millimeters and it has a needle on one end and it's open on the other and we'll take it apart and uh, I'll look at it here in a second. Uh, so anyway, this is this was available. I got it on Amazon, and I went ahead and paid the prime price, which was less than five dollars. You know, four ninety nine plus, you know, whatever. I think there was tax. I'm not sure. And uh, there was also lesser expensive ones if you can wait. But I just went ahead and paid it. You know, save a dollar when it comes two weeks later. So, we'll just use this uh, Griffin silk thread with a needle. I'm using white. There are many colors available. Uh, for genuine pearl necklaces, I recommend a number two. Uh, you can also use a one and a three, but what you're going to find is that the holes are very small in genuine pearl necklaces. So, uh, and also, we're going to double them up. So in addition uh, to just the uh, 0.45 millimeters, we're actually going to be 0.9 millimeters because we're going to be running two threads uh, through the pearls. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, disassemble our pearl necklace. And the way we're going to do that is uh, any variety of ways uh, cutting each one off individually and making a big mess uh, getting to the clasp and cutting that off and we're going to just have material all over the place because there's a knot tied in between each pearl and it's really not coming apart so what I'm going to do is uh, just cut each one off of here and hopefully my blade doesn't look too bad because um, I resharpened it. We're just going to have to cut them all off. It's just kind of a pain in the butt because each one of them is tied off and we've got to go through each one all the way to the clasp on both sides to get them off. Here, let me see. 
Oh, that one pulled off. I may be able to pull them off. Some of them, see this one still had some string on it, so kind of ripping and pulling here. And I guess I'll just cut when I need to cut here. So you can hear them pulling off of each knot. But I'm going to I'm I'm going to cut each one. I'm not going to run it through like that. So let me get to that. All right, so there we have it. Uh we have our debris field, which we will trash, our pearls, our clasp, and our new thread. Now I highly recommend a couple hours of quiet time for you to um, do your work here. And now we are going to open this up and check out our threads here. And I'm fairly certain this is a European product because we have German, it's Weiss, uh, English is white, and French Blanc. So we have 100% natural silk, two meters, and one needle. And two meters is the length. So let's get this open and out. Uh, next what we're going to do is we are going to unwind the thread off of the bobbin and then we are going to stretch it. We're going to try and uh, stretch these corners out a little bit. We don't have to get rid of them. We're just going to stretch it out a little bit. So you can see on the back how everything's put together. Just uh, the end thread just comes right off the little bobbin there. And then we can just start untwisting off the bobbin. And what you want to notice is when we are untwisting it off the bobbin that the ends are quite crimped. You can see that they are pretty much set in 90 degree turns and we are going to try and eliminate that so here's our thread at the end and it's very well put together so you don't have to worry about it coming apart and then we're just going to kind of pull it. We don't want to break it or hurt ourselves. Just kind of pull it out. Just kind of get the kinks out of it a little bit. Just have our needle just kind of get it out a little bit because you don't want it to knot up. That would be very bad if it gets into a knot. Uh, you have to start over and that is bad. Alright, you can leave your clasp together or you could take it apart, doesn't matter. But you definitely want to start the one end in and we are going to double it up. So we have the one end like this and we are going to come right back around and double it up. Now don't forget what we're actually doing is we can pull this out so we need to be careful. So what I've done is I've created a loop and then I'm going to make sure that both ends terminate at the same place in space. 
So we'll get our threads here like this. And our end down here. And there we go. All done. That's clasped together. You can tie a knot in it if you want, but it's not necessary. So if you'd like to tie a knot, you can just tie your knot in there. Oops. Remember, you are always trying to keep the two ends separate. You have a left and a right. One side has a needle and the other side doesn't. So now we're started and we're ready to string our pearls. Now I really don't have a needle that is uh, very small, I'm not a jeweler. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going to put some super glue on the end of this thread. This is the thread that does not have the needle on it. And I'm going to allow that to dry. And that should give me a nice stiff piece of thread to work with because one thing I don't want to stain <laughs> this uh, mat here and I have a little piece right here on the end I'm just going to uh, cut off and now I am going to thread all of my pearls onto this end right here without the needle. So with the sun coming into the sunroom here, I'm going to thread each pearl on there. As you can see, I have a stiff little end and a whole bunch of pearls to thread on here. So let me keep on doing that. Okay, so I have all my pearls loaded except for one, a last one, which I am going to leave off for now. I'm going to put that aside. I'll explain later. As you can see, my pearls are running through completely through one side of the clasp and then I have my other string with the needle on it running off to the side in the other direction and you want to make sure that you do not keep any knots on there so here's my needle and now I'm going to start tying knots so what I need to do is I need to run the needle through the first pearl like so and again the main thing is to not let the threads knot up so now I'm working with the first pearl and I'm pulling the thread through nice and easy no knots just keeping it nice and clean I'm pulling it through now I have my first pearl on and I have my thread so now I have to thread through and I'm just going to tie a simple knot. And it's not going to be a slip knot, it's not going to be anything fancy. I'm just going to tie a knot and secure the uh, pearl down. So I just bring the string around 
some way, shape, or form, one way or the other, and I bring it through. And as soon as I get it, I like pull it through. Just tie my knot down onto the pearl, just like that. Now I'm going to do this over and over and over again until I do all the pearls I have on the string. Now, don't forget, this is the string with the needle on it, because I'm going to pass it through the next pearl. and. The string without the needle on it is just going to be left off to the side here. So off I go, knotting pearls, just one after another. So as you're going along, you can see that the needle gets bent, you know, just from doing work and getting slung all over the place. You can just straighten it out and then go to your next pearl stone and it just slides right in bring it out nice and neat slide it down make sure it's nice and snug tie your knot make sure your knot is nice and snug go to the next one. You want to make sure your knot is snug else you're going to have different spaces between each one. Now most of the time it really doesn't matter but if you're not paying attention uh, there's quite a few pearls to deal with. We're not doing a little demo we're doing a full pearl necklace so you're going to have to uh, pay attention to every single one. Okay, now we are at the end, and uh, what some people do is they don't tie the end, but I do. Uh, so we're going to take our last pearl, and we're going to thread it in. I can see what I'm doing. Right, and then we are going to take our clasp, we're going to take the other end and run it through the clasp. Okay. Now we are definitely not done here because because what I need to do is I need to basically make a seal and the way I'm going to do that is to run my thread back through the pearl so let me pull this through and I'm doing this with the single end, just the needled end. The other piece without the needle, the other piece that I glued so I could feed the pearls onto, that's just off to the side right now. Now I've pulled my pearl through, so now the thread has gone through, looped around the clasp, and gone back out into the middle and now I want to tie it off but I want to tie it off with a double tailors tie so what the tailors tie is is it's once and then through again twice and 
and then I'll bring it down, I'll snug it down, and there it is. So now we are done, except for one final part, and that is we are going to glue this knot together so that one, it stays, and two, it doesn't fray. And then that way we can cut this off as close as possible. You see my glue stain from <laughs> the previous gluing where I glued the uh, thread on? <laughs> anyway, so now I'm going to glue this on. I'm going to put a little bit onto my blade. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to touch it. And the reason I'm going to do it that way is because this is not a jeweler's uh, glue. It is just a uh, it's just a super glue. So I'm going to very carefully work it onto the threads. So just work it onto the threads. Just get it on there. Not going to mess with the pearls too much. I really don't want to touch the pearls with it because they are very porous actually. So I just kind of want to very lightly get some on there and then then I'm going to check and make sure that there's no glue or anything where I don't want it. Make sure all my pearls are clean and smooth. Then I'm going to cut the string off as absolutely as close as possible. See if I can get the second one on camera here. I might not be able to. Let's see. Kind of covering it up here. Sorry about that. But there we go. Get on camera. And we have our pearl necklace back. Alright, so there we have our pearl necklace all beaded up, ready to go. Thank you for watching.